Hello musicians, welcome back. My name is Bucky Dirtle and today I'm going to be giving you a, a technical tutorial on BOG Audio's switch module for the VCV Rack uh, DAW. Uh, this is, again, this is a technical tutorial. I'm not giving you any musical examples of how you can use this for your music, but it is very technical. And I, I find that once you have a good technical understanding of how these modules work, they really helps you to apply it to your music. So here we go. Switch, BOG Audio Switch. Now here it is right here. I've already got it wired up to a couple of things to, so I can show you what's going on today. Um, uh, let me just show you so you can hear it and then we'll talk about why it works the way it does. Okay, so now you can see that we have um, up and down, high and low uh, frequency. The low frequency is happening with this oscillator right here. Uh, the high frequency is with this one. Actually, you know what? Let's switch these around because I want to make, you'll, you'll see why in a second. That one switches around. So let me just put, play that again. Okay, so no, 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 uh, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference to what we're doing, but it's going to be a clarification a little later. Okay, so, so we have uh, this oscillator here is plugged into the high this oscillator is plugged into the low. Um, and just for the sake of, uh, sh of um, uh, clarification, I have the high, the one that's plugged in high actually playing a high note. That doesn't really matter. And the one playing in plugged into low is playing a low frequency. That doesn't really matter either, but it's just for clarity. I'm going to leave it like that. Now, um, the gate. I have a gate coming in from uh, LFO right here. And the LFO I've got set to a square wave, uh, just to make things really clear. So the, I also have the square wave showing up here on our handy dandy scope, uh, and the scope uh, will the scope shows us um, what uh, what the wave looks like, and you see that it is high, as low, and high and low, high and low. So um, that's what the os that's what that low frequency oscillator is doing for us mm -hmm. so what this switch does is the switch decides when it feels when it takes in a gate signal that's a high frequency it will um, trigger the high output right here when the frequency it has coming in, the gate frequency it comes in, is of a low frequency, it will trigger the low output. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's how it works. It opens the low output. So, so this is a little, uh, traffic, uh, little traffic cop here, and it, it's duplicated on the bottom as well here. So, mm -hmm. so um, if you have a signal coming in, uh, an audible signal, or it can be a control voltage signal going into here. It doesn't have to be a high signal. It's just it's just marked as high. Uh, and you have another signal coming in here. It doesn't have to be a low signal. It just needs to be a signal. Um, what it will do is when the frequency of the LFO, of the gate, is high, it will trigger the high output. It will open that high output, and it will allow uh, that high output to come out, that high to go out and if it's low a low frequency it will let the low come out so it'll pass the low through okay because these are inputs okay because they're coming in look at this the this one here I'll just show you uh, I don't like the gray uh, I'll show you with a different color um, my high is going in so this my high coming into here and my low is coming in from here the yellow out is going through my scope here so I can see through the analyzer. This is Bog Audio's analyzer. And again, if I turn up my volume a little bit, you can hear. Now, it doesn't have to be this, it doesn't have to be a tone. It can be a sample, it can be a, it can be a, basically anything, any kind of, any kind of signal that's traveling through, this will just open and close that gate and let it through or not. So very cool stuff. Now you may uh, you can use this uh, a low an LFO to trigger this. Uh, you can also have the LFO be controlled by something else. So you can change the frequency of the LFO. 
It's all kinds of options, all kinds of options. You can also try different waveforms. I'm using a, a saw wave here now, but you can try different waveforms. You can also try pulse width, and if you change your pulse width, well, of course, that's going to change what's happening. Let me let's listen to that. You see, the pulse width is now, it's the highs and lows are not even any longer. Lots of options, lots of options. It's a great little tool. I'm sure you'll find all kinds of ways to help you with your mathematics of your um, music. So that is it. That is the switch by Bog Audio. Seems like a little simple mo uh, module, but it, it's not a simple module. It's a very powerful module. So have fun with this. If you have any questions, be sure to get me in the comments. You can also get me on the toping.io Discord. I'll be happy to chat with you anytime about your music. Maybe you might have some questions or you want to play me something. I'd love to hear it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time.